I'm Carol Kelso, Thomasville Today, CNS Next, right here in the unvacant lot. And do we have a lot of exciting information. We're going to try to compact it and put it all in there in the next eight to ten minutes. Right here with Darling Crosby Taylor. Yay! Hey! It's always good to interview you. <laughs> you are you, the Carol. Director of Public Art, Center for the Arts. Correct. All right, try to hold yourself back because we've been talking some pretty exciting stuff. Unvacant lot. Mm -hmm. There's something really cool happening. Give us some info. Okay, so um, as a continuation of the bronze sculpture project that happened along Broad Street, where Thomasville Center for the Arts purchased and commissioned artists from the Wildlife Arts Festival to create sculptures that were then donated and, and honored people who had pr protected and supported mm. and loved and revered our past and our Red Hills region. And they're all still there on Broad Street. They're all on Broad. So you can go and see them anytime. Yes. We are now doing a, um, a continuation of this initiative thanks to Georgia Council for the Arts and Georgia Municipal Cities for a beautiful grant that they um, awarded to Thompson Center for the Arts as well as 13 other cities. And we've decided to take our initiative into the Creative District and put art and sculpture that is more representative of today. Now you speak of the Creative District. For those who are new to Thomasville or are not aware, tell us where the Creative District is. So the Creative District is basically Madison and Downs. So Studio 209, Tavella, Hubs and Hops, and all along West Jackson Street where all of those creative entrepreneurs land and hand make things. I mean, that's what we... And the amphitheater. And the amphitheater, yes, of course. That's awesome. So all of this area. So you are responsible for really, with the Center for the Arts, bringing all of this together. And now we've got this incredible happening, November 9th. November 9th. So November 9th, first of all, the Unvacant Lot is sponsored by um, Hearst Muller. They are our promoter and our presenter for this lot. And, you know, we have Ashley Home Store and Ashley um, 1915 South. We have Key South, Gaines, Wilson Electric, Gaines Well wow. Drilling, and we have so many people that help us. And it's all our community. And have for over 10 years yes. to keep it so that this community can enjoy this lot and no one pays for it but the center. And every Based time I drive that, by the unvacant lot, there's always somebody here. Rain or shine, winter, or fall, summer. It's just been a wonderful place to just gather. All right, go ahead. It's been a great place for people to come together from all neighborhoods it's our it's the place yeah. so this year um, our next fall uh, our fall installation is the tree sculpture and it is something that came out of we did a charrette for the lot and this charrette all the public art people decided we needed a tree since we <laughs> we don't good. have a tree <laughs> so we have an abstract tree coming but um, working with Florida State University Studio wow. D wow. and uh, Marley Ransdale, Aaron Riley, those people we worked so hard to create this um, this design for this tree, which I'm not going to give it give it away, but Don't. it is amazing. Yeah. And um, then I turned to Hearst because I turned to them for everything. And Jeff is always like, oh my gosh, close the door, here comes Darlene. <laughs> but um, they have seriously their engineers their fabricators, their CAD, CAD draftsmen, and um, they have pulled together and we have bent, cut, grinded with the help of Southern Regional Technical College. Keep going. Um, and we have, um, it has purely been a community project. Absolutely. And we are actually going to have three trees. One is seven feet tall, one Wait, is nine right here feet in the unvacant lot. There'll be okay. two in the lot. Okay. And the third one, we have finally <laughs> been able to put a piece of sculpture at the center. So you're going to see at outside Wildlife or Arts, inside? Outside. Oh, we'll be able to enjoy it. So um, at Wildlife Arts Festival, when you are having your valet parking, you're going to surround, you're going to circle <laughs> the tree and get out right in front oh, of the tree. So we darling, finally have that. This is incredible. So, that's great. We are so excited. We're so happy for you. and. I'm just so glad that all this has come together. I don't know how you do it year after year. Uh, it just gets better and better. It's a community that surrounds me. I am yeah. surrounded by people that love our community. Yes, yes. Um, and I also want to mention that this year the tree is being um, presented in honor of Samuel Kellett and Lee Perkins, who are two uh, amazing people who have supported us over and over year after year. 
and in honor of them. And um, we're all excited. You can tell we're right downtown in Thomasville <laughs> at the all... unvacant lot. And how wonderful of you to come and share. Take time out of your busy, busy day. And thank you so much. One last thing, I keep saying that, but November 9th from 6 to 7.30 is the opening right here in the lot. Yes. And you will see the tree being installed. Which and part everybody's of welcome. Thing. You don't have to have a ticket. No, right. no, no. We're okay. a center for all people. So um, we are going to, it's going to be wrapped in a hearse boiler wrap <laughs> that they usually put on their boilers, which is fun. And we will cut it open on the night of the opening for the entire community to enjoy and that's Thursday be, night the night Thursday night the 6 night. to 7 30 so okay. you got to come and there might be some little treats going on for the all, kind of yeah, all kind of food beverages little beverage all everything. right isn't this exciting Thank this you. must be your best one yet I know we say that every year but this really is incredible this has been a challenge for me, even with an architecture background. This has been like engineering, you know, wind forces, and um, structural <laughs> considerations to think about. I mean, it's, it's scary, actually. <laughs> well, you've done a beautiful job, and you can't tell. Oh, thank you. All right, thank you. Aren't we looking forward to this? November the 9th, 6 to 7.30. It's on a Thursday. Everybody's welcome. It's wide open, the wonderful, wonderful community that we have that you are part of. So let's come and celebrate us the community and center for the arts thank you so much darlene crosby oh, taylor and thank you to the city of thomasville because we couldn't do it without them thank you so much and we wouldn't be a city without the city of thomasville so thanks for watching thanks for participating and we're so looking forward to thursday night the 9th i'm carol kelso you never know where we're going to be or what we will be doing but just like today exciting and good <laughs>